Today we're taking a look at our entire line of Pro Lens Adapters for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Hey everyone, Sean here with Photodeox.com. Have you ever wanted to mount a different lens mount type on your Micro Four Thirds camera? Well, with Photodeox adapters, pretty much the sky's the limit. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at our entire line of Pro Lens adapters for Micro Four Thirds cameras. Okay, let's take a look at our first adapter. This is our Nikon to Micro Four Thirds Pro adapter. And what separates it from our consumer line is it's made with a higher quality uh, material and finish, and it also has some more features to it. Uh, this adapter has a declicked option. So you can go from clicked aperture to declicked aperture. And this is essential if you're using a Nikon lens from a photo camera. Uh, if you're shooting in a dark room and you go to a bright room, you wanna be able to smoothly adjust the exposure without seeing the clicks uh, in the lens. So this is an incredibly useful adapter. All right, next up, we have our ND throttle adapters. These are my favorite adapters that we carry. This is our Canon FD to Micro Four Thirds ND throttle, but we offer an entire line of these adapters for various lens mount types. What makes this adapter so useful is it has a built-in variable ND filter uh, built right into the adapter, which means with just a turn of this blue ring, you can cut the amount of light entering your lens, which will let you shoot you know, wide open on a bright sunny day for that beautiful shallow depth of field video. It's also great for shooting long exposure photography. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, why don't I just get uh, a variable ND filter to put on the front of my lens? And while that can be very useful, um, one of the things I like about having it behind the lens is you don't have to invest in multiple variable ND filters for different lenses um, or you know, step up, step down rings um, to adapt uh, one variable ND filter to different lenses. Basically, if you're shooting with a bunch of different adapted lenses on this adapter, all you have to do is take off one lens, put on the other, you still have the beautiful variable ND control built behind the lens. Here are all the adapters we offer for our Micro Four Thirds ND throttle. Another really useful behind the lens filter adapter we carry is the Polar Throttle. This is our MD to MFD Polar Throttle Adapter. And this actually has a built-in CPL filter uh, built into the adapter. And what a CPL filter does, it's a circular polarizer. It actually cuts the reflection on reflective materials such as glass or a car or a water surface. And just with this, a turn of this ring, you can actually reduce or even remove reflection uh, from reflective surfaces. So this is great if you're shooting outside and you wanna kind of reduce the amount of glare uh, on plants, on water. Here you can see we're cutting the reflection on water and we're kind of making the image more vibrant. Rather than having to get different CPL filters for different lenses, you just use this adapter and any lens you adapt to it, uh, you're gonna get that CPL control behind the lens. Here are all the lens mounts we support for our Micro Four Thirds Polar Throttle Adapters. Okay, this next adapter is pretty versatile. This is our DLX Stretch Adapter. Uh, this is our Nikon G to MFT version, and it has three unique functions built into one adapter. Function number one, obviously, it's going to adapt your lens to your Micro Four Thirds camera. But function number two, it has a built-in helicoid. So you can actually adjust the back focus of your lens, uh, turning a normal lens into a macro lens. Uh, this is great if you're shooting macro photography or video, but it's also nice if you just wanna focus a little closer up on your subject than your adapted lens is allowing you to. And the third function is drop-in filters. Uh, it comes with three drop-in filters, an ND4, an ND8, and an ND16. You just pick the strength you need and you pop it in the back. It's magnetic, so it sticks. Uh, so similar to our ND throttle adapter, uh, you have filters behind the lens. Great for shooting shallow depth of field video, great for shooting long exposures. And here are all the lens mounts we support for our Micro Four Thirds DLX stretch adapters. Okay, our next adapter is pretty unique. This is our Art FX Color Flare Adapter. Uh, this is our Canon FD to Micro Four Thirds version. What's really unique about this lens adapter is it has a translucent ring in the middle. And what this allows the adapter to do is actually let light in. Generally speaking, you're not going to want this. You're not going to want 
light leaks in your image. But this is a special effects adapter. Uh, it basically emulates the look of an old film camera that has light leaks. Uh, it comes with six colored rings, so you pick the color of the light leak you want. Uh, this one's the orange one. You slide that on, and now you have colored light leaks. And to further control the light leaks, you can actually add one of these included uh, light control bands. It has holes that allow for smaller light leaks. Now again, this is not an adapter for everyone and for every situation. It's really a special effects adapter for when you want that low-fi film look, um, but it really can help you create some beautiful images and video. Here are all the Micro Four Thirds color flare adapters we make for various lens mounts. All right, let's move on to our next adapter line. These are our shift adapters. Uh, we carry them for various uh, lens mount types to mount on your Micro Four Thirds camera. And what this adapter allows you to do is shift your lens to the left or the right, and then uh, you can press this little tab in, and you can actually rotate uh, where the placement of the shift is. So you can also shift up and down. And this is essential for architecture photographers who want to remove perspective distortion from their images. You know, they're shooting a building, and by shifting up, they can actually get rid of the distortion of the building and make it have straight edges. But another way you can use this adapter is to shoot panoramas. Uh, put your camera on a tripod, shift to the right, take a picture, shift to the left, take a picture, and then take both images and stitch them together in post, and voila, now you have a beautiful panoramic image that has more megapixels than one image that you would capture with your camera. And here are all the lens mounts are Micro Four Thirds Shift Adapter Support. Okay, shifting is pretty cool, but what if you also want to tilt? Well, therein lies our next adapter. This is our Tilt Rocker adapter. We carry this uh, for various lens mount types. And what it allows you to do is not only shift left and right, but also tilt. I'm actually gonna mount a lens on this adapter so you can see better uh, what it looks like. So as you can see with the lens mounted, you can actually loosen this screw and you can tilt down. Uh, then you can rotate the mount by pressing in this gold button. So that allows you to rotate to wherever you need to go. And then you push down this button to shift. So now not only can you shift left and right, but you can also tilt down uh, for beautiful selective focus photos like these. Here are all the lens mounts our Micro Four Thirds Tilt Rockers support. So far we've been looking at manual only adapters. And that's fine if you're using a manual lens, uh, you know, an old vintage lens that has no electronics. You're not gonna need any electronics, you're just going to adjust the focus and aperture manually. But let's say you have an electronic Canon EF lens. Then this next adapter is gonna be exactly what you need. This is our Canon EF to Micro Four Thirds Fusion Adapter. And what this allows you to do is adapt a Canon EF lens to your Micro Four Thirds camera and maintain electronic aperture control as well as autofocus and IS image stabilization. Uh, it's a beautiful little adapter. It's got a tripod foot, so if you're putting a heavier Canon lens on the front, you can actually balance it with your camera. Let's mount a lens on it right now. Line the red dot up with the red dot on the adapter. Mount it in place. And then line up the red dot on the adapter with the red dot on the camera. Okay, now you have a Canon EF lens mounted on your Micro Four Thirds camera, and you're gonna have full electronic control of the aperture, the autofocus, and it'll also power your Canon EF lens's built-in image stabilization if it has it. So this is an incredibly useful adapter uh, for filmmakers, for photographers, who have Canon EF glass, uh, but have switched to a Micro Four Thirds system. With the Micro Four Thirds camera's uh, 2.0 crop, this 50 millimeter lens will be a 100 millimeter equivalent. But let's say you wanna get a little bit closer to what the lens is supposed to look like on a full frame camera. Well, that's where our next adapter comes in. This is our Canon EF Micro Four Thirds Fusion Redux. So not only does it give you all of the control of the normal fusion, but it also has a built in focal reducing optic, as you can see right here, which has an image angle magnification of 0.71x, which reduces your Micro Four Thirds camera's crop to 1.42, uh, making this 50 millimeter lens a 71 millimeter full frame equivalent. So the Fusion Redux won't get you all the way to a full frame look, but it will get you pretty close. 
Our last two adapters are a little more niche, but they're essential for filmmakers who want to use some bigger cinema lenses. Uh, this first one is our B4 to Micro Four Thirds adapter. And this allows you to use B4 ENG lenses. Uh, these are these big broadcast lenses on your Micro Four Thirds camera. You just line up the lens and the adapter, turn the breech lock on the adapter, and then mount it on your Micro Four Thirds camera. There you go. Now you have this giant B4 lens on your Micro Four Thirds camera. And what's great about these old B4 lenses is they have a built-in electronic zoom, which a lot of modern lenses don't have. And these can zoom way, way in. We also offer uh, adapter cables and batteries to power the zooms on these cameras uh, because they don't come with the battery. You actually have to plug them into an external battery. One of the issues with adapting B4 lenses to a Micro Four Thirds camera is uh, their image circle is not big enough to get full coverage on a Micro Four Thirds sensor. So there are a couple things you can do. You can either shoot in 4K and crop to HD in post, or you can use uh, some of these lenses have a built-in doubler, and then you just engage it and it doubles the image circle size uh, to cover your Micro Four Thirds sensor. Okay, the last adapter we're gonna look at is our PL to Micro Four Thirds adapter. This is a gorgeous adapter. It has, it's very durable. It's got a tripod foot, so you can balance it with your Micro Four Thirds camera. And this allows you to mount gorgeous PL mount lenses onto your Micro Four Thirds camera. Now, you're probably not gonna use this adapter uh, to mount PL lenses on you know, a compact stills camera, but there are a lot of cinema cameras out there that use a Micro Four Thirds mount. So definitely recommend it if you have PL lenses or use PL lenses and you have a Micro Four Thirds mount cinema camera, you're gonna want this adapter. Okay, that's our pro line of lens adapters for Micro Four Thirds cameras and I've made kind of a mess of my desk. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of the adapters that I talked about in today's video, or if you're looking for a specific lens adapter that I didn't talk about, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also, click the links in the description below to get any of the adapters featured in today's video, and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com, and thanks for watching.